Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, master reference monitors from JBL. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the 7 Series master reference monitors from JBL. Now these monitors were introduced by JBL at the recent Winter NAM show. I had a chance to listen to them in the booth and they sounded great, but now I've had a chance to put them to work in my studio and I'm even more impressed. The 7 Series monitors combine state-of-the-art cabinet, acoustic, and driver design along with cutting-edge DSP processing power to create an incredible monitor system. There are two models in the family. There's the 705P, which is a compact monitor that offers a 5-inch woofer, and there's a 708P, which offers an 8-inch woofer. Feature-wise, and in many other respects, the two monitors are identical. As far as the enclosures go, of course the 708 is larger, and it also features handles on the side, which makes it very easy to maneuver inside your studio. Both the 7 Series monitors feature the same high-frequency driver. In this case, it's a custom-designed compression driver. Now, normally we've seen compression drivers in live sound systems, but this one has been specifically designed for use in studios, and it offers very detailed response. Both monitors incorporate the same waveguide as we find in the M2. And that waveguide is called the Image Control Waveguide because of the way it's shaped and the way that compression driver works. These speakers are very efficient, and they offer a very wide sweet spot. Each of the low frequency drivers in the 708 and the 705 were also custom designed. They have extremely long excursion. This gives them great dynamic response. It also provides extended low frequency output. Combining the custom low frequency driver with that custom compression driver on the top end along with the ported cabinet design gives us extended frequency response. The frequency range of the 705P extends from 39 hertz up to 36 kilohertz, and the 1.5 dB down point is 48 hertz on the 705 up to 23 kilohertz, so these are very wide range speakers. With the custom designed 8 inch woofer and high frequency compression driver in the 708, our low end ranges from 35 hertz up to 36 kilohertz, and our 1.5 dB down point or our frequency response is 45 hertz up to 23 kilohertz. What I can't overemphasize is how powerful the bottom end is in the little 705s. It puts out a tremendous amount of bottom end that's very true. It's not boomy bottom end, it actually is solid bottom end with a real note to it when you're playing an analog synthesizer, an electric bass, or a kick drum, you really can hear the pitch. When you move to the 708, that low end becomes even more powerful and you have more headroom. In both speakers, we have 250 watts driving the low frequency driver and 120 watts driving the high frequency driver. Now this is more power than just about any monitor in their class, and this gives both speakers incredible dynamic response, great dynamic range, and excellent headroom. As I mentioned earlier, in addition to their driver design and cabinet design, both the 708P and the 705P feature very advanced DSP processing capability as well. Both speakers operate at 192 kHz sample rate, and they both also offer 32-bit floating point processing. Each speaker has two independent EQ processors. The first is a 12-band fully parametric EQ that you use for room tuning, matching the speakers to your particular studio environment. Our second EQ is an 8-band fully parametric EQ that you use for setting up user applications. For example, if you were placing these speakers behind a cinema screen for mixing a film or for soundtrack work. Each has six factory presets on board, and there are slots for six user presets as well, so you can instantly recall your settings, whether you're moving from studio to studio, or you're setting up different environments for mixing or tracking. In addition to room tuning and equalization option, we also have several different delay options for these speakers as well. We have 18 milliseconds of room delay for aligning the speakers in a multi-speaker array, and we also have up to 150 milliseconds of delay for AV sync. You can connect the 7 series monitors using either analog, or you can connect them using AES-EBU format digital signals. There's a digital input on each speaker as well as a digital pass-through, which makes it very easy to chain the speakers together in multi-speaker arrays. An RJ45 connector allows you to network the speakers together as well. This will allow for future operating system updates as well as Harman's high-Q net connectivity. Let's take a tour of the back panel. At the bottom we have our IEC inlet and then our connections. An XLR analog input, an XLR AES input, and an XLR AES through. Finally we have an RJ45 network connector. Now let's check out the control and DSP options in the 7 series. Our default screen is an input level control for calibrating the speakers to match each other in volume. Pushing menu calls up a variety of other options. We can choose our input source, analog or digital. We can set our analog operating level, minus 10 or plus 4. We can adjust our input level trim. We can adjust our input sensitivity, our AES level trim, user EQ, room EQ, and if we push the center of the dial, we can call up all the bands of the different EQs as well. Pushing back takes us up a level in our menu. And finally, we have our different delay options, bass management if we're using a subwoofer, and a utility menu. Pushing back takes us back to our input level display. 
The 7 Series monitors are ideal for a variety of different environments. Of course, they're great for home, project, and commercial studios. They're also great for remote recording trucks, post, and broadcast applications. Each speaker's birch cabinet is reinforced for safe mounting and features top and bottom mounting points. The speakers also feature protective steel grills on the front, so you don't have to worry about damaging the drivers. If you're looking for master reference monitors for your studio, post, or broadcast applications, the 705P and the 708P make great choices. The 708P offers the most extended frequency response, very solid bottom end, extended top end, and very dynamic response. The 705P offers incredible bottom end for a compact cabinet, as well as extended high frequency response and great dynamic response. Both speakers sound absolutely incredible. And with all the DSP options available in each speaker, you can custom tune them, set them up for any environment that you may be working in, and with presets, you can take the speakers to different environments and have them instantly ready to go with your custom tunings. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the new 7 Series Master Reference Monitors from JBL. These are absolutely incredible speakers. You're definitely going to want to check these out. And thank you for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.